Hey everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a really cool salad with flowers. You might never think of that, but there's a lot of flowers out there that are edible. Only though if they're organically grown. So what we do is we always make sure that we grow them from seed. That way you can control what's going on with them, right? So tonight I'm gonna to use nasturtium and nasturtium are really nice. They're really pretty, right? Look how gorgeous they are. I just cut a couple different ones. They have orange and a wide variety from yellow through orange, etc. Pretty pretty. So see how these how these grow, okay? This one here, this is how it comes off the stem, but it has this little kick back here. But I'm just gonna cut the green all the way up to the stem just so we can just eat the flowers. I have about eight here, and I'm using about a half of a really large cucumber I just cut off of my vine today, and we're gonna use that. Now, sometimes when you grow uh, veggies at home, sometimes the skin is a little bit thicker, and I like to keep my skin on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm negotiate for everybody else in the house and myself, and I'm gonna leave half of it on. So I'm just going to make stripes with my peeler, take half of it off, keep half of it on. A lot of those nutrients that you're looking for are in those skins, so don't get rid of it all the time. You have to eat it sometimes, guys. Jeez, gotta be healthy. Anyhow, I'm gonna chop this into chunks since it's such a really large, odd shape. So I'm gonna chop it into quarters first. This is a gorgeous cucumber and nasturtium salad. It's awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna slice slices, chunks, I guess you could say, into my bowl. This is beautiful, it's a conversation piece. You know, it gets you a little something else that you get to forage on in your life and enjoy. Now, if you're wondering what nasturtium tastes like, don't worry, they taste really nice. At the very end, it has a little bit of a peppery flavor, but the inside, it's very vegetal. It tastes like, um, uh, my mom didn't know how to describe it, but the closest thing I could come up with and follow me with this is this kind of tastes like a cross between artichoke heart, that flavor, and lettuce to me. And it's kind of, it's very thin, so it's very, maybe that's the, where the lettuce is coming in for me, but it's very thin like that, but it kind of has a texture of the artichoke, and it is very vegetal. But then at the end, it has this really nice little tiny peppery flavor. Gorgeous stuff. So, we are going to use a small knife. We're gonna use a small knife to cut off these stems right up to the top. Try not to get the flowers wet until you have to. So if you're not serving your um, salad until a little bit later, don't bother making it or just do the, the cucumber part, put the salt and pepper and the, and the vinegar, etc., on it and throw it into the fridge that way. Then at the very end, throw those flowers in and don't let them get all wrecked. But we're about to eat in a hot second. Man, these smell nice too. Oh, such a sweet, soft smell. What a tropical looking salad, right? Beautiful stuff. Something different, something fun. Okay, so we're gonna mix this. We're gonna put some cool salt and pepper on. Okay, I'm gonna move this cutting stuff out of the way. Today I'm gonna use these um, white cam pot peppercorns. I'm gonna use about, I don't know, maybe six or seven of them, and I'm gonna grind it up very, very finely. I don't wanna have a bunch of chunks in here today. Lots of times I do, but today, I don't. Onto my cukes. I'm going to hand toss them in a second anyway. Gorgeous. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. I'm gonna, oh, by the way, these are from Cambodia. If you didn't know, Cam Pot Pepper comes from Cambodia. They have black ones and red ones and green ones and white ones. Anyways, that's where these come from and I got them at campot-pepper.asia. Beautiful. These are um, Drogaria Spice Grinders. This is a red Hawaiian sea salt from Drogaria and you can get that online at Qual First Foods. I did not get it at my grocer. So on goes the salt. Don't put the salt on either until you're about to serve because it'll leach all the water from your cucumbers and keep them from being nice and crunchy. Okay, I'm gonna use about a, maybe a teaspoon and a half of this beautiful pear vinegar that I have, white, uh, sorry, pear vinegar from Vilux. That's what the bottle looks like. Got that at Qualifers too. They have 
gorgeous stuff from all over the world. This, I believe, comes from Franz. Yep, it's a product of Franz. So I'm just gonna toss that up. This is gonna give just a little bit extra flavor. That je ne sais quoi. Now, let me taste. Mm. You can add olive oil to this as well, or other oils if you like. I'm gonna throw my flowers in. I'm gonna do a quick toss. They're gonna get a little bit wrecked in here, but that's okay. You just wanna do it very quickly and then serve right away. Okay, so I'm ready, I'm ready to serve this up. Look at how pretty this looks on your plate. You know what I mean? Something different, something a little bit more pizzazz than what you usually do. You like that, Mommy? Oh, I think it is not only beautiful to look at, but it's gonna be so delicious. Those flowers taste so good. Yes, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this Arbequina olive oil on, just at the very end. And that's it, that's all. If you want a little bit of pepper, you can go ahead and put more on there, but I did put that white cam pot pepper just so that it doesn't interfere with how beautiful that is. Look at how pretty. Would you like a bite, Mommy? Oh, yes. Would you like an orange flower or a yellow it flower? Matter. Look at that. Who wouldn't want that on their plate next to something really tasty? The flowers I'll give you an orange one. The flowers taste a little peppery too. Yep. Here you go, Mom. Good? Mmm. Mmm. You like that? It's that has, almost lemony and peppery. It has um, pear mm. vinegar on it. Mmm. Mmm. So good, Kim. Mm -hmm. Oh my. The flowers are fantastic. Anyway, if you've never had edible flowers, you really must. I hope you guys try that out. That's how you make an assertion cucumber salad. Perfect and beautiful. Love it. Anyhow, make sure you're healthy, be a champion in your kitchen, and I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan pages, Facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cooking with Kimberly.com. Bye mom. Bye-bye, honey. Make sure you check out mom's website at IngridTurnerToday.com. Alright, everybody, be that champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye!